What do we crew? We are back with another episode of Coffee and Friends. We're now on season four of the Gilmore Girls. You guys know my guests. You guys know the pod. Uh, we'll, you know, we have Amanda, we have Michelle, we have Tywo. Everybody is here, full barn. But um, how's everybody been? For usual, let's get some updates. It's been a couple months now. Who wants to to go first? Yeah. Um. I think Amanda should go because she has the most exciting. She went to Japan of all places. <laughs> I did. Um, well, let's see, since the last time I talked to you guys, yeah, we went to Japan. It was fun. Ate a lot, did a lot of walking. Um, I explored a lot by myself and learned some basic Japanese while I was over there. Navigated the train system, went to Mount Fuji, did a lot of um, eating sushi and woman and it was amazing I would go back 10 out of 10 there's so much to do there like I would like we were there for nine days and I could have been there for another like nine or ten days to like do everything that I wanted to do but it was really cool what city were you in um kind of all over the place I went to Tokyo Yokohama we went to Yakuska which is where Zach was stationed so he used to live there and he lived in Japan for like five years. And so he showed me like, you know, his little hangouts, like, oh, he went to this rest like Mexican restaurant in Japan. He's like, I used to go there. Oh, wow. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. So sushi. Yeah. How was how was the sushi compared to here in America? Like what's the what's the version? I mean, it was good. It was just like fresh, I guess. Um and I mean I think our sushi could be a little um, like westernized. Is that a word? Westernized? Mm -hmm. uh, like a fusion. Yeah, like they, like in Japan, it's just a lot of like raw fish, really. Like there's no like, you know, the tempura, whatever. I love sushi though. So like I was living my best life. <laughs> that's awesome. What was your favorite? What was your favorite thing you saw or did? Um, that's hard. I went to, um, I went to the cup of noodles museum, which was like, it was like a museum all about cup of noodles. And I went in and I actually made my own cup of noodles. So like you can go and you can design your own, um, like cup and then choose the ingredients, like what you want in there. So of course I got like chicken and shrimp and, um, it was just really cool. Cause like you go and it's like a little like cup of noodles factory, um slash museum and it was pretty neat so that was fun and then uh, my favorite was probably Mount Fuji we went to Mount Fuji uh one of the last days that we were there and it was so beautiful like amazing so anyways um that, that's that's awesome I, I'm I'm jealous because I want to go to the country I do want to go to Japan it's on my bucket list to go to so yeah um, same fun fact did you guys see recently that I don't know if it's like Martian or whoever but the cup the cup noodle company that it's like in the United States, they recently are creating microwavable safe cups. So if you've microwaved those cups, you've been microwaving stuff that's not actually supposed to be microwaved. Fun. So hear about that? No, I didn't. <laughs> so have you have you ever microwaved the cup noodles before? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently we, again, they they, they it, say, it says do not microwave apparently on the on the lid. And now they're coming out with microwavable safe cups. Wow. wow. <laughs> yeah, add that to the list of all the other stuff I've done that's bad for my health. I don't know. <laughs> nice. Funny. Well, that's so, awesome. yeah, That's my update. That awesome. Thanksgiving. And then um, I went to the Texas game yesterday. We're in the playoffs, baby. Who wants to go next? Um. Well, I attempted skydiving. Well, I attempted oh, to yeah. go skydiving. Did you get a chance weekend. to go again? Huh? Did you Did you get a chance to go again? Because you said not yet. Yeah. So we we went through like the training, like so we got there, went went through the safety training. We were in line, and like a couple of people went ahead of us. But when it was like two three people before our turn, the weather got cloudy. And apparently when it's cloudy, they need like 14,000 feet to be able to have us jump off the, the plane. But because it was cloudy, they could only get to like 8,000. And so 
you know, they, you know, they, they canceled it for the day because they weren't sure when the weather was going to clear up again. And so that was fun. I was a little bit salty because I was looking forward to it, like just doing this guy, I mean, and checking it off my bucket list. That's so terrifying. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to go because like, you can reschedule the class. So we're going to reschedule it and go do it again. But it's funny because Rachel um, had mentioned that that had happened to her three times where wow. she went and she was about to go and weather happened, went again like three times. And so apparently it's, it's still up to the weather. You can just go skydive. You, it's still up to chance and weather and whatever. So, but that was just good learning. It was a good learning experience and I'm excited to go again. So right. if any of you guys wants to join, join, yeah. If any of you guys wants to join, feel free to how let was, me know. How were your mentals going into that? Like, were you stressed? Were you just like calm, cool, collected? I'm curious. Calm, cool, collected. Really? <laughs> I was, yeah, I was, that wasn't stressed at all. Like, I was just like, okay. Because I feel like once, once, I'm in, once I'm at the edge of the plane, I'm like, I have no choice but to jump. Like, I'm already there. You do have a choice still. And it's yeah. to sit back down. <laughs> and it's very, I mean, very Like, if I think about the money that I pay, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm doing this. I'm going to jump and make sure. I oh, how money. much is it? It was like almost $300 just to jump. That sounds like it's not... Three hundred dollars to jump out of a plane. You're like, yeah. is the risk worth the reward? I don't know. I'm so excited. I'm <laughs> with you guys. I'm glad that I'm like. I'm sorry for you, but also I'm glad y'all weren't able. To... I was supposed. You to... can I join was... in. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Was was to in so like, mm -hmm. now we can go together. Now we can go together. Fun. Do you oh, get yeah, like a shirt or something afterwards? It's okay. It's funny, like, at the safety <laughs> training, at the safety training, the guy was telling us, like, it was teaching us what to do on the plane, and then he told us how many times he had jumped, and then he was like, uh, and then somebody in the audience that has been at the, the venue multiple times was like, hey, what about this dude that used to be our instructor? Where is he at? And then the guy was like, oh, he's not with us anymore. And we were like, what, like, did he die when he was jumping? Or like, what the, what does that even mean? He's not with us anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, no, not jumping. Like, I will not join. not <laughs> working with us anymore. I was like, oh, oh, oh thanks God. for the clarification. <laughs> Said that in the beginning, guy. That's funny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So I'm going to play. That's a. Uh... That's interesting. You guys have fun doing that. You know, I, I, yeah, do, I well, I spent 300 bucks or something. It's like, now I'm going through this. So I understand like why you call it. Like for me, I think if I pay, if I made the decision to pay money, then I'd be like, okay, we're doing this. But thinking about it like right now with nothing on the line, I'm just like, dang, that's crazy. But you guys have fun. You guys have Would you rather fun. jump out of a plane or go inside of a, inside of like a little tank and like have sharks swimming around you? I'd like jump, out the shark. jump out of a plane. Ten out of ten times, I'd rather like jump in out. a cage. Yeah, sure. Well, my my one of my bucket list items is is cave cave diving. cave diving. Yeah, so like going in the cage and have like great whites. So my that's one of my bucket list things. You have Dang. absolutely lost your mind. I'd rather jump out of a plane. <laughs> mm -hmm. With a shark? What is going on? You're in a With cage. A You're in a cage. You would think that, that they're not going to try to get you? Yeah. First, like, yeah. First of all, sharks sharks don't want humans anyway. So like this, we're not part of their diet. So not to every person that's lost a limb. All right. Well, <laughs> so the crazy thing is when they bite them, they don't eat them. They just bite them. And they're like, oh, this, I don't want. They spit it out. So RP to your to your arm. Wow. <laughs> they don't want it no. in the first place. Don't let no shark use it for an appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, any uh any fun? Appreciate the time. That's awesome. Um, uh, excited for you to jump on the plane. Um, any anything from you, Michelle? Uh, just school's been kind of hectic and not not anything super special. You know, did Thanksgiving with Weston's side of his family, and that was fun. How was that? Uh, 
it was good. Uh, we did Thanksgiving the week before Thanksgiving with his mom's side of the family and then with his dad and stepmom for Thanksgiving Day. And it was really fun. We play a lot of board games, um, learn something new, and it was it was great. I love love a good board game, you know? That's my bread and butter. <laughs> I'll do that every day. <laughs> but yeah, nothing super crazy, just kind of stressing out about classes and just hoping to be just cruising by and just have a little a little break before my birthday, you know? So when is your birthday? December 30th. So yeah. now that everybody has knows here, um, I expect birthday wishes. <laughs> what do you tell us now? Absolutely. <laughs> So if you didn't know Tawo, uh, she is doing a like a twenty four was it seventy two hour seventy two hour uh, birthday extravaganza from the thirtieth no. to the first. So it's like it's like an end of the year big bash Michelle is doing. So that's wow. not even true. Wow, party of one. party of one. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you cook for Thanksgiving? Um. No. <laughs> what did we make? Weston made some potatoes, and I think I made something. I don't remember what it was. Did you cook in Mandela? Um, I actually didn't cook anything this year because we were in San Antonio, and I didn't have a kitchen. So I just showed up to Thanksgiving, and I'm like, hi, family, and everything was there already. They didn't need me for anything. Nice. I didn't cook because my sister in law is a good cook, and she lives next door. So we just walk next door. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> That's, awesome. That's awesome. I I don't think I've ever, not until I met uh, my husband, I have never celebrated Thanksgiving. It's just oh. never been a thing. You know, uh, my parents were very like, oh, you know, it's just another day you eat a bunch of food, you know, what's new, <laughs> you know? So it was never special, I guess. It was never, it didn't, it wasn't as big of a deal as Christmas is, you know? And that's, we go big, you know, for Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I met Weston, I started going to Thanksgiving off from his mom's side of the family. Um, I like, not cried, but I was just like so emotionally like, wow, I, there's something I've been missing out on. But we also don't have that big of a family either. So it's been great. I love Thanksgiving now. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. I I I understand your family though, because in my opinion, Thanksgiving is mid. So, mm -hmm. but it is like for me, it's, just, it's, it's you spend time with your family. Everything's yeah. great. Play games, yeah. fantastic. It's still mid, in my opinion. Christmas trumps Thanksgiving, so that's why. Yeah, that's absolutely. Why. So I agree with that. Um, <laughs> last, lastly, <laughs> lastly, me. I, my birthday was on in November, so I turned thirty-one. It was pretty fun. Um, had a great birthday. Uh, went to the. I told also and Michelle about earlier. Went to the Harry Potter, um, thing in Little Elm. The uh, the tour, and it was interesting. It was cool. I really enjoyed it. As a Harry Potter fan, I really enjoyed it. But the interesting part to me was. Uh, they don't have all the main characters. Like, I don't know if it's like a licensing thing or what, <laughs> but they they didn't show anybody. Like, they show the back of Hagrid, but there's no, like, faces to, like, Harry Potter, Hermione, Ron. You hear, like, oh, wow. you, hear, you, hear the you hear the music, you hear their voices, you see, like, the yeah. cards, Whomping Willow, you see, like, the hippogriffs, you see the spiders. Everything's there. All like, the, the pieces... Except for the actual characters, and I think it might be like a license. Like, I saw us talking to Michelle. About, I think like they they either they didn't want to or they don't have the money, the budget to to like afford paying for Harry. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was so cool. I, I had a great job. I had a great time. Enjoyed my uh, my thirty first birthday. So it feels weird. Nice. Somebody asked me my age yesterday, and I told them I was thirty two, and I was like, no, that's wrong. I don't know what age I'm anymore. Like. Once you get over 30, I feel like I'm just like, I don't know how old I am. So, yeah, I think that's a guy thing. I think that's fully a guy thing. Every single time somebody asks Weston how old he is, um, he asks me. And I'm like, yeah, you're 35. 
And he's like, okay, cool, great. <laughs> so I'm 35. <laughs> yeah, it was so weird. I said 32 yesterday and it sounded right. And then <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm not 31. Because like, I was, anyways, it was, it was just a mental fog. Um, <clears throat> well, cool guys. So I appreciate everybody giving updates. We are now on season four, done with, I guess just to say, season four of Gilmore Girls. Now moving on to season five, but I'm excited to talk about season four because a lot of stuff is happening, right? Like a lot of people are <laughs> making decisions, new characters, uh, things are going down, a lot of, a lot of stuff. So we'll get into it. Um, I So I wrote down kind of the biggest moments of season four. Let me know what you guys want to start with. And if towards the end of it, we can kind of talk about like little things or things maybe we missed. So the way I wrote down, uh, the biggest thing to me, you guys let me know if you don't think it's the biggest thing. Luke and Lori, Luke and Lorelai finally dated. Or sharing a kiss and like going on a couple of dates, right? I don't know if that's Trump's Rory and Dean hooking up. But both of those are like, what in the world? So we'll talk again. I'm going through the list. We'll, I'll let you guys choose what you want to talk about first. But those are me were like the biggest moments of season four. As a first time watcher, I was like, what the hell is going on? Um Lorelai and Jason's relationship, interesting. That that was like the main focus of the season, and then they just kind of scrapped it, kind of. Mm. Emily and Richard's separation was un I, I didn't expect that at all. That was random. Understandable though. And then Paris dates her professor. <laughs> that was and, like Yeah. <laughs> so those are to me, those are some of the biggest moments. Is there anything else you guys would throw on the list that you guys would think was like important to talk about for for this season? I think those were like the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. Those were the big ones. yeah. Cool. What do you guys want to start? What, what do you guys feel the presence of the Lord to talk about first? <laughs> the cheating. The cheating. I agree. I, I cheating. <laughs> Agree. That's what I was gonna say, actually, because um, oh wow, like I don't know. So let's let's talk about it. let's talk about it, right. So for those who don't know, I mean, if you're watching, you probably know what Gilmore Girls. If you if you're watching this episode, you probably seen season four. Um, and so Rory throughout the entire season, she pretty much is single, right? Like it's kind of the, the this is of the three seasons, the only season she's been single. She tried dating. She tried. She reached. She Shot or shot a guy in the laundry room. Uh, but then they didn't end successfully. She had got set with dates by people, but nothing really worked out. But Dean started to come back around, right? Started to come back around. And then we see at the very end of the season, mm -hmm. not only kiss, but it feels weird to say this, but Lori losing her virginity <laughs> to Dean and so who I guess and you guys you guys you guys can give your thoughts on the situation, but I'm also curious for you guys to who is in the wrong? Both of them. Both of them. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Absolutely. Both of them. I will say though, like Dean, I don't think that they like put as much like blame on him in this in the episode uh -oh. or even like uh -huh. the season, like blaming Rory. I think like it was just oh yeah, he wasn't happy and this and that, but like they really put the attention, like Rory is the one that like messed up the marriage, but at the same time, Dean was the one that like went to her. And I mean, they both are idiots, but. <laughs> I, think, I think that this is where I stop liking Rory <laughs> more than I ever have. <laughs> yeah. Why? Uh, uh, I feel like that's, like the decision to do something with like that, yes, I fully agree. The the fault is on both of them. But like I thought you were smart, Rory. Like, hello, what is going on? Can we just not let's keep it in our pants and move on? Let's find somebody that isn't fully taken. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what is happening? So I'm curious, can you can you see the rationale from Rory's perspective in her actions? I was, I was thinking about that and like I kind of can't like you know this he, this girl she's like pretty innocent like in how she lives her life you know she's not this like promiscuous girl she truly thinks that like 
Dean is the love of her life and she messed up. She said it herself in this season. Like I made a mistake. Like Dean was the perfect boyfriend. And so I think because she still is in love with him, I think she's letting like her emotion out her judgment in this, um, in, you know, that episode. And I think I can, I can, I can see why she, like she would go through that, I guess. Um, I don't, obviously like you don't um, agree with it it, I can see what like you know her her feelings and her like you know I don't know how old she would be but you know her 19 year old like you know broken heart is like oh this is the love of my life and you know that's a really important decision that she made thinking that Dean actually loved her back and yeah they obviously did not talk it through before doing the deed. <laughs> and I think, I think Dean because carries that mysteriousness um, around him. And I for for Rory and just like every young girl, you know, they just want to explore. Like, let me see, you know, let me explore that mis- mystery, that charm. Um, and I think she was just trying. I think she was just curious. For me, I'm like, I feel like she was just curious to see how the relationship was gonna go like like how the the hooking up whatever was gonna go like how first time was gonna be like and and I think she just followed the the breadcrumbs you know it was tempting and all of that and obviously you know that was something stupid like Amanda said they never had something so I really really talked about talk about it um and yeah totally both of their faults do you, do, I don't remember if she said it to her mom or something like that. I really don't remember her saying like, well, aren't you happy? I did it with Dean, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, I'm like <laughs> couldn't find yeah. anybody else. <laughs> I know. I think she was just, yeah, she was just so yeah, I definitely agree. I can understand where it's coming from. It's a very emotional, non-logical state of mind, but it is, you know, I think we're all on the same page. It's not something that you would condone. But I think like even making that comment to from Rory, what did she think was going to happen? You know, okay, you guys did it. Great. You potentially ruined a marriage now. Good job. (laughs) You know. So I'm curious. I'm curious. How much of a role do y'all feel like Lorelai playing this as well? Because something she did mention to her at the end was because she said, oh, you mess with a married man. You're the other woman. And then she plays it back on Lorelai. She's like, well, you slept with dad when he was engaged. And she was like, well, they're not married. And she's like, they were still engaged. So what are your thoughts on the example that Lorelai set for? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I think that Lorelai is is Rory's example in dating period and in love and her love life. Like, Lorelai is her example overall, you know, and the, I mean, I think it was Tai Wo that said it best, like, Lorelai is the only example she has of what a relationship looks like, good or bad, and now it's, it's going through, like, you know, like a, um, gosh, what is it called? through generations that same way of being it's being transmitted to you know what I mean like it's just it's it's copy and paste so yeah no I feel like Lorelai has a big uh um stand in in all of this yeah agreed yeah I mean she's got to learn her judgment from somewhere you know she has Mm -hmm. to know that like if she sees her mom like messing around with somebody while they're in the beach that you know somewhere in the beach, they're like okay I can get a free pass too so mm-hmm. I mean that makes sense yeah, also- Just- yeah. Sorry, and also that relationship there's really not much of a mother daughter relationship going on it's usually mostly like a friendship which is really hard to transition if if you're like always like playing the role of a friend to your to your 
child, it's very hard to transition to that to like being a mom because those are two different things. Um, and so sometimes I, if, if you keep watching and over the course of the season, like there are times when maybe uh, Lorelai had the opportunity to, um, to maybe correct a certain behavior that um, Rory did maybe through like a mis a relationship mistake or misjudgment or whatever. She, if you notice, she doesn't. She's on. She doesn't have the capacity to because she's like she wants her because I think because of the relationship she had with her parents, she overcompensated uh, with Rory because she really really wants to be friends and she didn't want Rory to experience what she experienced with her parents. So like she totally overcompensated with Rory just by being majorly friends with her. And so that takes away the ability to be a parent and be a mother where Rory needed. Yeah. I So I, I, I agree with what you guys are saying, but I, for me, maybe it's because I'm a guy, but I put the onus on Dean because the situation at the end of the season was because he came over, right? Because he he wanted her. Like he knew what he was doing, right? Like like it's it's he, he's playing coy, but Rory's like calling him out on everything he's doing. Like she, he came to the dorm and she's like, "Why are you here? Like, what what does your wife think you're doing right now?" Like, like, like as much as Rory, you know, pursued Dean as well, but it's like she knew she kind of knew she was doing too. But she also was like, "Well, he is married. I'm gonna open the door and see if he walks in." I feel like the onus is on Dean because he did walk through that door and he, like he was like, "I am pursuing Rory, even though I'm unhappy in marriage. He's still are married, dude. Like, she's single." What? But why open the door? Why not look through the people, see who it is, and then tell them to go away? <laughs> because of emotions. You know emotions. I mean, she, emotions. She's a nice little girl. There's no other guy in her life right now besides Jess, right? So it's like, what are the options right now? Do you go back to the guy that you felt like mistreated you? Do you try to be the guy that you loved and realize that he probably was better than Jess um, and you made a mistake there? Or do you just stay single? That's kind of her options. And so she just lets yeah. emotions say, if I can get the guy I wanted, it is what it is. I feel like that's how she decided. But great, you know, you very know, he went high risk, it. high high reward, I guess. But it's kind of wild. I do agree, though. It, Dean is at also at fault. Rory is at fault. Dean is at fault. I think they're both at fault equally. It takes two to tango. Okay. <laughs> you know. I don't know. The, the way that they like portrayed it on the show they put more fault to on rory in real yeah. life and fault would be on dean 100 percent way more like he's, yeah. the one, he's the one that's married he's the one that opened the door like the man said mm -hmm. they just the way that in the show i think that the director portrayed it was like rory was a homewrecker i think most society the society is actually like that um because yes it portrayed it like uh, Rory is the home wrecker, but like society is usually quick to put the blame on the woman because I don't know for some reason. Because even like she she experienced a lot of like stigma, like people like tagging her, like the person who broke up um, Dean's marriage and all of that. But I feel like I, I I would I I would lean towards more of like that's actually what the society tends to do is they usually mostly blame the woman first before asking any other question. What's so, the wife's name? I forgot her name. <laughs> Lindsay? Is it Lindsay? Lindsay? Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised Dean is alive still, because if I was Lindsay. <laughs> He would be dead. <laughs> uh, but no, speaking of that, uh, so this this is what also a couple of things, a couple, couple of questions. But I do want to point no point a note out. Last time we did a podcast, I asked you guys, all of you, specifically Amanda, because she remembered. But I asked all you guys as well. If Jess shows back up in, in any other season, I was told this man was gone forever. I was lied to. I just want to point that out. Y'all all lied to me, specifically Amanda, because she said she remembered. But everybody else lied to me because you were part of I it. I don't remember. I don't ever remember. Saying. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I remember did asking. You say asking yes? I thought you said like I thought you said like the dad or somebody, somebody, some family member. No, I actually, no, you yes. were talking about Jess. Jess. I, Jess. I said. I said. Do we? This is the last we see of Jess. Y'all said yes. He's gone. 
And I was like, I oh, that's I was like, that's a great that. That. That was I good. Okay, I'm a, like, you know what? So, so I'm going to clip it and let's find I'm out. A, so this, that's the end of GS. Wow. Yep. That's, I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like the way they wrote them off. That's if that's, interesting. If that's, the, if that's the end of like Jess, like brought the show, I don't know if I like that. Mm-hmm. Clip, yeah, I'm going to clip, <laughs> clip, clip it. It, it is podcast. I, I am big on receipts. <laughs> so I'm going to clip it and and let the viewers see it because I was like it. Anyways, um, not, not holding on to that, but kind of am. Um, but quick question for y'all. So I know many watched when you were younger, Tyler, you were older when you watched it. When did you watch it first, Michelle, this this show? Um, what age? Probably late teens. Okay. Did Rory seem older to y'all when y'all were younger? Because she seems so young. I'm watching this show. Yeah, I'm like, I think she's always this girl's like 12 years old. What are we doing yeah. here? Cool. Yeah, Did she seem always, older? She has always seemed younger to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you talking about Rory? Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. I'm watching um, the show. And it, again, we talked about it last time. We transitioned so quickly. She's already a freshman. But she's supposed to be 19 in college. And my, like, she looks like she's still 15 years old in high school. Like, I'm, like, <laughs> watching the show. I'm, like, she's yeah, she's supposed to be believable as 19 years old. I don't believe it. Even though she probably is, like, 26 uh, in real life, you know? But, like, I saw, I saw, I was curious. I'm, like, I wonder if back in the 2000s when the show was, like, actually on TV, if she was a believable 19-year-old to, like, younger kids watching the show. Yeah, because now all the kids eat GMO food and they, like, look bigger than the age. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so you want to know a fun fact real quick? I don't know if y'all know this, but I saw this the other day. Um, Lane during Gilmore Girls, like her age that she was playing, right? Like 16 years old, she was actually like 27. <sighs> no, mm-hmm. you lie. Like, even like 26, but oh, wow. like, really wow. they can't each other playing. You know, she did girl. really good. Wow, wow that's a good, so good yeah. acting right back, right there. Pretty. That doesn't. That that's crazy. It doesn't shock me though, because Hollywood is known to put like thirty year olds in high school, and it's like, yeah. it's, <laughs> it's, it's the wildest thing. It's like you want me to believe this guy's nice, but she is believable. But uh, that's crazy. She's, real, she's very believable. Yeah. Um. Cool. So so I do want to touch on Jess real quick. Um. Mm-hmm. So. What are y'all's thoughts on like just coming back? Like I feel like I feel like it was, it was just because they like they wanted to give her closure. I still don't, like maybe comes back other season. I don't know, but like his character was. I was like, I this one pissed me off when he came to her dorm and he's like, "Come with me," and she's like, "No," and he's like, "If you don't love me, just you know, just say no again." She says no. I felt bad for him and I got pissed because I was like, "Why do I feel bad for Jess? What has he done?" <laughs> To make me feel bad for him, but I felt so bad for him at that moment because everything leading up to that, he even read the book that Luke read because he's like trying to work on himself. And then Rory, let, you know, he tells her he loves her. Like, there's so much stuff he's like finally revealing, does it in the wrong fashion. But what are y'all thoughts? <laughs> Je- what's the what's the like the time span between uh, when he leaves and then when he comes back? Like, what I think is it? Like, I think it's like is a year. it months? Yeah, it was like before she was going off to Yale. And mm, yeah. Freshman year at Yale. I hate, I, y'all know my just strong dislike for Jess. So, I mean, I don't know what you want me to say besides. Yeah, I was he- annoyed every time he showed up on my TV screen. Like, Let's skip. <laughs> <laughs> go, go somewhere else. Like, you just, I, he just makes me mad. Like, who does he think he is walking into her dorm room being like, oh my gosh, I love you. Okay. It's been, you know, a year. No, that's not how it works, man. (laughs) I think, I wonder if his thought process is like, um, you know, I've been given chance after chance with, with Luke. I've been given chance after chance, you know, with her as a friend. I leave. Don't show up. Don't say anything. Not not being like um, that's not being a focus. 
I leave, I come back and I'm better than ever and I'm ready now, you know? And I wonder like if he's kind of expecting, you know, I just need another chance and I can show you, you know, I'm better now, you know? And I fully disagree with it. <laughs> you can go freaking kick rocks, man. <laughs> that might be that no. might be the thought process. That's a good. That's a good like. Yeah, that's a good perspective. Thing to thing, yeah, perspective. Perfect word there. Oh well. Um, cool. So Rory is a ball of mess. That's how we end the season. Um, then we move on to Lorelai, her mother, right? And I feel like Lorelai in this season was honestly pretty, pretty, pretty stable. Like, relative to to everything, like she had a boyfriend, a stable boyfriend for a mo majority of the season. <laughs> Tao <Tyler> laughs. I guess <laughs> am I off on that? Especially like I, that was my thought on Lorelai season. I'm like, she doesn't really do like she dated Jason, then that didn't work out, and then I don't know where Luke. I mean, it did work out, but then she he sues her dad, so that's why like she cut it off. But and then Luke shows up. That's not already her doing. Like it's kind of just like Luke's situation. Like, what do y'all thought? I mean, do, do you disagree with that? Do you feel like Lorelai was kind of crazy this season? Like, what do y'all think about Lorelai? And we can talk about Laura and Jason as well. But just kind of curious what your thoughts are specific to Lorelai. I love Lorelai. <laughs> Go for it, Amanda. <laughs> talk about your favorite character. I mean, no, I think this season, like, I feel like she was. Um, she. Uh -huh put on a little bit more of a mom hat I feel like because she had also mm -hmm. also like growing up to do with Rory leaving so she's like yeah. she Rory's in college I love I don't know if it's like the second or third episode or maybe the first I don't remember when Laura when she's dropping Rory off at Yale and she stays and like she's like the fun mom and she's trying all the different foods and rating the delivery guys on their cuteness and it's like that was so <laughs> fun for me like to see because I'm like oh my gosh like can I I would love for my mom to have done this yeah. I would yeah. have been so cool you know <laughs> mm -hmm. I just I don't know I I I'm always team Lorelai she may be a little bit crazy sometimes and her decisions <laughs> probably the best all the time but like she's got such a pure heart you know was, know. was that your expectation when you got dropped off at UT? Was that your mom like, <laughs> stepping on the door for you? No, but if she did, I would have been like, great, we can have a big party in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought, she, again, I thought she was very tame. Like, I, I, I thought that her relationship between her and Jason was the healthiest relationship I've seen her being. Like, there wasn't too much arguing other than like him like being like, hey, don't sleep in the bed with me. I I, I can't do that. I was so weird. <laughs> but I feel like like her this season, like that, she was a great, she was a great mom to Rory. They uh -huh. both got a little bit busy, so they, they weren't really, you know, dealing with each other. The only, the only time that I like was annoyed with Laurel a little bit, I understand like why she was pissed off, you know, get to that. But like when she got mad at Suki with the whole baby situation, and like, she's getting her hair done. They need somebody at the at the, the Dragonfly Inn mm -hmm. to get the sink. And she goes over and yells at Suki. My mind, I'm like, that girl has a baby, like a newborn baby. I understand, you know, she's the be there, she's your partner. That's all that's that's literally the only time this season where she kind of like she kind of I don't say pissed me off, but like I was like, okay, this is a little bit too. Oh, yeah. But for the most part, always, she's, she's, yeah, she's, chill. Always, like, she's very chill. And her and her and Jason's relationship was good. Yeah, let's not even get started on Lorelai and Suki's friendship. I'm about because, to. <laughs> because I, there's just, yeah, I think there's there's moments where she, like, took advantage of Suki's readiness and big heart. Like, because Suki's always ready, like, over-ready to her detriment sometimes to help Lorelai. Like, she goes above and beyond to make sure that Lorelai is okay, especially at the Dragon Inn. Like she she goes above and beyond at her job. But Lorelai being a type A person, sometimes they like, I don't know if they intentionally do it or like they unconsciously just like um seem like they're so bossy and they, they don't really care about like the you know the the other person's feelings. Like they just want to yeah, like they just want to get what they want. And if you don't do it, they don't even look at your past record of like, oh, she's always been there like consistently. But that one time, 
that one time that you just like don't do it and then it's like oh you're a bad friend so I, I've always had that issue with their friendship it's like very yeah very like you know it's not it's not it's, not, it's one-sided yeah it's very one-sided I, I can agree with that a thousand Amanda, percent. Amanda, do you agree? I, I, feel like, I feel like Amanda is like, don't talk about my best friend like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. like their friendship. I don't no. like their friendship. I but feel no. like I feel like I fully agree it's one-sided. And okay. I think that it's it's unfair. I feel like Suki's such a like good person, such a She's nice so person. Nice. Very She's so nice. <laughs> you She's know, too- whereas like Lorelai is very gimme, gimme, gimme. You know, it's, what? I don't Even know. Her parents have accused her of being selfish many times. Like Lorelai. Lorelai's mom has accused her of being selfish a lot of times. So yeah, that's one of her weaknesses. Amanda, sorry, but she's got to have a weakness. Like, I know yeah. she's weaknesses. She has a lot of weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> she's losing the game right now. No, 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 no. I'm just thinking like, I'm, I think I think I, I, I'm being a little bit more like logical or practical. Like they're opening a business. Lorelai has done a lot for that business already. All she had, all Suki had to do was meet the dang guy for the oven or whatever it was. Right. So it's like, I can understand her frustration in that moment when y'all were like, why'd you go off on Suki? I would have been like, if I was in business with somebody and like, I can't have a 30 minute break to get my hair done. I would have been frustrated too. So like, I can see that, you know, like Suki didn't have to do a lot of the, you know, all of the things for the business up front that Lorelai was doing. So she was running herself in already and she just needed this break. So like, I felt that for her. So when y'all said like, I don't know why she went off on Suki. I'm like, I understand this girl just had a baby, but it's still a business. Like you have, you know, there's certain things that you had to do. And I think Lorelai already picked up some of the work because she had a baby. Like you just had to meet this guy to pick out an oven. Yeah. There's there's baby brain, pregnancy <laughs> brain. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's funny. Yeah, we don't like Suki and the relationship. Anyways, I don't even think about that much this season though. Like like Suki and her, like they're running a dragon fight. I was thinking more about like lower relationship, but I guess I, don't, I I haven't really seen like the the dynamic of Suki and Lorelai to that extent this season. I feel like like it's like they they run the end together and they're working on that and her and Michelle and all this stuff. But it felt like like their their situation was like kind of put in the back burner outside of like again that's why i said the, the the baby situation that's the only time i felt like that was like a focal point other than that it was just like like they slept in the zucchini thing together you know all that stuff so it's i don't know that's just that's interesting y'all brought that up so um thoughts on jason though that's what i'm curious about like oh, you guys, you guys like jason like of the guys that <laughs> lorelei has da- damn uh of the guys that lorelei has dated <laughs> where does Jason rank for y'all? Do you guys do you don't like him? Jason reminds me of like what a little uh or a big like uh, New York rap is. You know what I mean? Like that's what he 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 reminds me of like a little Yeah. <laughs> no? <laughs> I just don't like him. I feel like he's sleazy. I think that's the oh word I'm talking about. Favorite ever, like he is on the bottom of the bottom yeah. of the board. Yeah, the mm-hmm. yeah, he oh. he makes me itch. <laughs> I don't like him. What? Okay, what was it about him that makes you hate him? He, what did he do outside of suing Richard? Like who screwed? He got he screwed him out he's of his so business. He's so salesy, very salesy. Like, yeah, like, he's like he's a, a sales fake, He's a fake guy. He's like. He, I don't know. The bashing of salespeople about... is kind of wild. I'm a salesperson. What were you saying right now? No, like, not like that. <laughs> like, like I think it just, it, no, it didn't start off good. Like, he was just yeah. an annoying person. His face was annoying. Like, yes. when <laughs> Eric came to Stars Hollow to visit, and he was, like, driving around and, like, honking, you know, or, like, you know, just on the phone all the time. And Lorelai's like, let's do this, let's do this. And he's on the phone. He's, like, not even like caring that like you know he's there with her it's just I don't know he's just he's very posh very like this is I could be doing something way better than this like little town this is nonsense 
I don't know. He's very yeah, he's like arrogant for me. Uh, like very like, arrogant. Yeah. Very arrogant. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> Immature. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There's something I don't know. I don't know. I think I like if when I think of somebody who cares a lot about money, mm -hmm. he's the kind of he's his that face. His face is the guy I think of. The guy that says, send this back, even though they've eaten half of their meal. You know what I mean? Send this and back. then they're like, come on, Garcon. You know, he's, I don't, I don't like him. Come on, he Garcon. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it, though. That's crazy. That's I, I, I like Jason. Like, that's so weird that y'all hate him. I'm like, Bro, they have chemistry though. They had great chemistry. They had chemistry. Like yeah, outside well, Luke, I mean, outside of Luke, outside of Luke, outside of Luke, I've been finding a guy that fits. Like they both are, grew up rich. He still is rich. They they hate their parents. Uh, <laughs> like they they just they they understand each other. They know each other. For, I was like, if there's any, if there's a guy she's dated outside of Luke that fits her perfectly. It's this guy. That was my it's, thought process. Why? Because they're so much alike. That's a bad they're thing? So I don't think, I don't, like, they're like, I don't know if it's a bad thing. It's just, it might be bad timing. Maybe if they had met another season of her life. I when, feel like, <laughs> like foreshadowing going on. That's what I when, like, like. When he's had a chance to grow up a little bit more. Gotcha. Okay. I, Maybe. If I chose between who I like more, Lorelai and Jason, and I don't really like Lorelai, I would choose <laughs> Lorelai. <laughs> Jason can go jump off cliff. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. I don't, I don't like, like it. You know, he would make some other girl happy. Just yeah, not, just not in not some yet. other girl. She's like, just not my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> You like status strip, like statusy. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. There's just something about him I never liked. Like every time he would, yeah. every, I've watched this. I've watched Go More Girls start to finish so many times, like on like hundreds of times. It feels like in my lifetime, in my 30 years on this earth, every single time Jason Styles comes on this on the screen, I like I can. I the whole <laughs> so so she's dated. Um, Max Medina dated Christopher Jason and Ooh, then some it. random guy <laughs> yeah the random guy now yeah. Luke which we'll get to oh yeah so outside of Luke out of those four y'all think he's the worst yeah wow I am blown I, I literally I, I thought we'd be like Oh yeah, this is a great relationship. Y'all all like these guys are trash. I'm curious on what happens in the next few seasons. Because I because right now the season ended, they're she he's at Dragonfly End still. And so is Luke. So I'm curious on what happens in season five. Because if y'all have this reaction, because what did he do that was bad? Like I don't know. His you whole know. existence sucks. <laughs> Savon. He's ew. He's ew. Okay, that's three girls here that all agree ew. <laughs> That's crazy okay. to me. We wow. feel it in our bones. It's gross. The dude had a great guest room too. Like they guess we had the TV come out of the thing. That's so cool. Can we do it somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> also, side note, weird. Okay, why you couldn't sleep in the same room, but like, you know, like in the 1950s when they wanted to do the thing, they would put two twin beds together. And then when they didn't, they would separate the beds. Like, that's so weird that they slept in a two different rooms. That's so bizarre. They for six like, months. The other one was cool. And it was just like, I don't feel like if I was in that position, I'd be like, I don't think I'm dating this guy. I think I'm just hanging out with a friend. You know, I don't know. It's just so strange to me. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I like also, I, don't know. <laughs> I also. So again, sorry to bash your friend Amanda. Uh, I also feel like it's it was it was Lorelai's fault. The reaction from Richard and Emily on finding out about them dating because Jason told her many times, "Let's tell your family because we get nasty if we don't tell them," and then 
everything blows up. His dad's like, we're going to sue you. And by the way, your son's getting your daughter. Like, if they just, again, this is a TV show. So the drama is supposed to happen. So I understand. Like, it's it's the show. But still, I feel like sometimes Lorelai, childish. A little bit too childish sometimes. So, my, my I think last she does that on purpose, though, too, sometimes. Because, like, she she obviously doesn't really want that close of a relationship with her parents, right? I, I feel like it would be a situation like, you know, like in real life, you probably wouldn't share who you're dating immediately right away. You want to test it out first, see if, you know, you like the person. And then maybe like a, a weeks go by, a month goes by, and then you share, oh, I'm seeing this person, you know, share it with your family or whatever. Everybody vets them out. But I don't think, I mean, that's just not how she functions. It's not like, oh, let's let's see how it is and just because we want to kind of make sure this works. It's more like, hey, let's let's just not tell them ever because anything I do, they don't like it. So it wouldn't matter if I told them or not. They're not going to be okay with the decisions that I make, period. So, I mean, would it really have gone any different? If, if she mentioned, hey, I'm dating this guy that nobody really cares for in the family either, sure. you know, would it have gone different? I don't think so. If she's not content with uh, any, yeah, I don't think, I don't think it would have mattered. That's fair. I agree with that. Yeah. I, go ahead, Amanda. I just said, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Amanda is done. She's like, she's over. cooking. She's. <laughs> She's like roasting. Let's just stop talking about him, okay? It's not worth. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, moving um, on. We spent most of this time talking about him. But. Y'all, y'all cook, Jason. That's crazy. So, okay, we'll, we'll get to we'll get to Luke. Uh, we'll end with that. I do want to touch on. We can skip over Paris. I do want to touch on um, Emily and and uh, Richard's separation because for me that that was like a huge shock. Like seeing the the lack of love in a relationship that kind of appeared like. Him, Richard, not really focusing on Emily anymore. She felt like, I don't say less than, but like she didn't really have a purpose. Like I, I can understand that, but like them, you know, getting a set like separating was like I was like that's crazy because like it's yeah. just like in, in no in no season so far there, there was always like the that that dynamic, uh, but it never really ex- it, it was extenuated. Do you, like do you think his mom's death? kind of put that stress on the relationship or like what do you feel like or or the mom writing the letter as well like what do you guys feel like was the reason why Richard and Emily got separated or separated in this season I don't know what happened past this but are separated currently or was it always going to happen I think it was like a, a mixture of stuff because this season they found out about that Richard was still in touch with um Oh yeah, the ex. One girl, right? Mm-hmm. The girl that like, you know, was like his biggest love right, or whatever. Got away or whatever. So I think like that kind of like broke the trust and kind of like opened the gates, right? I mean, I don't know. If I found out my husband was like meet like having lunch with a woman every year, like I'd be, you know. For years. Wow. The consistency. That is crazy. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Any comments? Any thoughts on the website? No, you I agree with Amanda. I think that was the crack. That was what started, you know, cause causing the separation. Because how could you explain that? Like why? You know, if it was just maybe one time or twice, you know, that might have been easily explained. But like yeah. you actually were intentional. It's the intentionality for me to actually meet up with this person. And you never mentioned it to me. Oh, at yes. all. Not once have you said it. <laughs> Not once did you tell me that this was happening. And then coupled with the fact that I'm the the mom doesn't like her like over the years has always not liked her but I think she favored the other lady over her I'm not sure but I think yeah, they she, wrote, she, wrote, she wrote the letter saying that the day of the wedding she's like I don't want you to get married to yeah so that's I'm like okay so what are we doing here 
Yeah. Yeah, that, that's yeah. that's that was like that's what my thought was. I thought like the reason why I didn't think about the situation with the lunch. Maybe I just glossed over that. But like mm -hmm. I, I felt like the mom dying and then her seeing the letter because Richard kind of just like he was like that's my wife. Like he's just there. I, I felt like that was kind of like always the feeling of Emily. Emily's following her like pursuits just in like shopping or something like that. And Richard's always been like the breadwinner and like comes home. You never really saw outside of like the Friday night dinners. They didn't really touch on like their relationship at all. I feel like um, so it's it's a. Uh, it was interesting to me to see that, but I, I thought it was just like reading the letter, like that's when it kind of fractured. Because there was there was, a, there was a dinner too, which she's like, "Oh, are you? Did you see like the apples or whatever?" And he was like, "Oh yeah, those have always been nice." And she like, I, I was like, "Man, it's, it's so weird to see like this break down over nothing that was crazy." Like that's kind of what, like I agree. Like he should have told his wife, but like it wasn't like he did anything. Like he's still like a he didn't cheat. He didn't do anything like that. Like it's a form of cheating. I, I could feel like, but. I don't know. It's just maybe the neglect is the reason why. Like they just fell out of love. I, I have no clue. But it was just interesting to me to see that happen. He did like, something. Woman, let me tell you. Who <laughs> looked? In that woman's eyes. Okay. I, is, I, was, I was like, what am I doing? Like, like, you know, just going to break the dam open? That's not okay. That's not okay. No, it's not. Period. That's, that's cheating. <laughs> and then I also, I don't know if they mentioned this, is, I can't remember, but I think when. She met Richard at that time in college. He was dating someone else. It was her. Was it her? So one yeah. of them was dating someone else. No, 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 no. And like Richard was dating the girl that he's been going to lunch with. And, okay, yeah. And then she came came in and you know, so I don't I feel like maybe she like she was the one pursuing Richard and mm -hmm. more than Richard was pursuing her. I don't know. But. I think it's the same situation with like Rory. Maybe not the same because I don't. I don't think I don't. To my knowledge, I don't know if anybody cheats. I don't think so. But um, I think it's similar to like just you know maybe check through the peephole and see who's there kind of situation <laughs> before you open that door. If that was a if that was like a problem, right? But if it's, I, I get what you're saying, Savon, where it's like, well, nothing's happening, but but you still have yet to share and communicate what is going on. Like if there is not an issue, then you don't have an issue talking to me about this being a consistent thing that you do. And I mean, like, what was it at like the, the football game or whatever? That's when Emily finds out. <laughs> and then she's like, excuse me, since why, <laughs> why didn't you tell, you know, why didn't you say anything about it? Like, that's a huge problem. I will say, going back, Tywo made a uh, made a, a, a good mention. Like, I think, you know, her relationship with her mother in law has always been really not good. <laughs> it's been really bad. Um, and I think, like, there. What what did you say that was like the kind of the tear? Was it that me like, or Tywo? Tywo. Oh, I said, oh, like the like when when because when the things mother. Yeah, because she doesn't like her, apparently. Yeah. So that just kind of, like, confirms, like, okay, you favored this other person yeah, that, over me. And that means he never really got over her, over like, over the previous lady. And then that's why you, you kept this friendship, whatever, over the years. Yeah, You know, just so that you can have a piece. You can still hold on to the, a piece of whatever you thought should have been. Yeah. You know, I, think, I mean that's how I would think about it, you know. Yeah. I'm like, bro, like no. Yeah, I would absolutely agree. That's also how I'd think about it. I'd be like so on, that's from a men's perspective. Yeah, wait, hold on. Tell us, <laughs> tell us because oh. what is going on? What is the you, you have the yeah, you have the reactions. <laughs> your fireworks, you're going off, Tywo. Wow. You just, you just Zoom was like Tywo's <laughs> going off. Fireworks, fireworks, fireworks. That's awesome. Someone That's tell awesome. us from your from a man's perspective. I really want to know. About why do you think it wasn't a big deal? Richard? No, why do you think that wasn't a big deal? Like that he didn't do anything. I mean, I can I can understand why it's like yeah. If for years is wild. The wild is for years. Like it feels like a one time thing, but for years is wild. 
for for Richard's character, I can't speak of for like as all, but like for Richard's character in the show, I feel like him. He's like, I'm just a per like he because he he doesn't. He seems kind of like upstanding, like an upstanding guy, like part of the community. Like I'm I'm Richard. Like he kind of just lives in his own world where he does his own thing. He goes golf when he wants to. He goes out with his friends. He goes to New York. Doesn't think about his wife too often. Like he's like, yeah, I'm going to New York. We're having dinner, and he's kind of just like his wife is just like there. So mm-hmm. Richard's character is kind of just like it's just something I do, right? It's not like for him, mm-hmm. it's not like oh, this is a big deal because he goes to lunch with a bunch of people. Like he has mm-hmm. lunch with his business partner. He has lunch with people on the golf course. He goes golfing with people. Mm-hmm. He goes to New York and has dinner with random people. And so, Sounds like this is the only not woman, though. Lot. exactly, exactly. But yeah, and I agree with what you're saying. And there's a reason why he hit it. <laughs> he, there's a reason why he hit it, right? But it's also, I feel like he's just like he he he, he doesn't really think twice about what he does. He just does it. Like that's kind of Richard's character. Is he just does it? Is he that's right? No, I I can agree with what y'all are saying. Like you should have told your wife that you're having dinner or a lunch every year. With the girlfriend <laughs> that you were dating, and with. he pays. Why? Um, Why does he pay for the lunch? I'm sure he does. Yeah, he, he does, does pay for the lunch. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, he pays for the lunch. Richard's definitely for the date. <laughs> um, but anyway, so that was that was crazy. That the separation threw me. Um, uh, and then the, for the fact for them to be separated, and then like later in the season, we see like them like to the point where they can't be in the same room. Like at the at the, at the last episode, they're like, we can't stay in the same room together. It's like how. That deteriorates so fast, you know. What I mean, that's that's what threw me too. It's like that, just like the deterioration happens so quickly. But again, the show progresses pretty fast as well. So it's like, yeah, maybe it's been right. a long time that they've been separated. It's not just two episodes. And they don't really talk. They don't communicate. They just act. They sit they far just... from each other on the table, like on yeah. Our... Even when they were together, they never mm-hmm. really talked like a couple, like a normal couple. They just you know, reacted to each other as opposed to actually expressing and communicating. Yep. So they're when that happened, you but said what? Not, they're like cohabitating, but they're not. Yeah, really that's mm-hmm. how it seemed like. And I've, I've seen that older, oh, anyways, let me not get into it, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's, what's that generation called? Baby boomer? Yeah. What is it? Well, were they baby were they were they baby boomers? Or were they, were they baby boomers? Before. Anyways. Older people tend to be like that. They, Maybe. They, I don't know. I know Gen Z. They don't, that's all I know. They don't I know communicate. My parents. Um, but yeah, cool. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys sharing that. We're gonna wrap yeah. up with Laura and Luke uh, and be done. But I do wanna I do want to get out of my comments too. Because I some, I took some notes on the season. But there's some interesting points to me, and I want to get y'all's just reactions on this quick very quickly, a couple things. One, I wrote down every single job that Kirk had because he he does everything. Because I was like, I literally was like, how many jobs does this man have? Lorelai says he has 43 jobs. I got seven. So he was a store clerk. He he was a skydiver. He was a security systems guy. He was a dog walker. He had this pedicab, which that was hilarious to try to like pedal around Lorelai (laughs) and Yuri. He was a mall clerk. And then he was. he worked at um I forgot what store that was. He worked at another store. Um, those are jobs. He's also a mailman. Mailman. Huh? He's mailman. Also mailman. And he worked at the makeup store. He did work yeah, at the makeup, makeup store. store. So Kirk's hilarious. I always always look for him like in the beginning or whatever, whatever he's done. He got mad that he wasn't like the the guy, the the main character. He's always doing something. Like, he's always an interesting person uh, to see. Um J or not Jason. Uh Jackson didn't want to see the baby, didn't want to know the, the sex of the baby until it was born. I like that idea. I've always said that. Like, maybe not my first kid. Well, I do have a kid, multiple kids. I wanted at least one kid wait until the birth happened to know the sex. Would y'all do that too? Or y'all like, no, give me the sex. Me I'm know. down. I'm all about it. I don't know. I'm indifferent right now. I'm indifferent. There were three, there were three people that I noted to in the show. Victoria Justice was in the, was in this season. She what? was in episode three in the Hobbit episode. Um, Squints, the actor that plays Squints, um, and Sandlot was in this this show. And then Rami Malek was in this this season as well. So if you guys know Rami Malek, he's he, he was a 
what's the uh Queen movie? Bohemian Rhapsody. He plays Freddie Mercury. Um, and he's also an Oppenheimer as well. He's kind of a bigger oh, yeah. he won some different Oscars. Uh Barami Malik was in this as well. I thought that was pretty cool. Seeing all these like different people that were just extras. You know what I mean? Like Victoria Justice being a little kid. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, Schmidt from New Girl. He was yes, in, or in Gilmore Girls also. There's a whole bunch of them. I love it. Um, we have to write down. I wrote down Lucas as big a child as Lorelai is, so we'll get to that <laughs> too. Um, but they're they're perfect together because he's just as big of a child. Uh, Paris is a savage for how she did Jamie. Uh, because she did him dirty. She just said we're done and hung up the phone. That was crazy. But that's um, crazy. How rich are Emily and Richard if she can just drop $25,000 in furniture and then bat out? She she put $25,000 to furniture in Rory's I know. Door and just like, yeah, you got I'm it. Just... Cool. Yeah. Crazy. Old Man, money. Crazy. That's why they call old money. Facts. Yeah, I don't got no money. <laughs> How cool would it be, though, to just, ah, we're just going to throw $25,000, you know? In the living room, you know what I mean? Like, that's kind and of. And then wild. last couple, last couple things. I love their like, like um, in the show they do like a lot of like points to other shows, and like they even like Three Stooges humor. Like, there's a lot of different things that they did like relate to the Three Stooges. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I was like, I was like, man, that reminds me of like the who, what, or who's on first, what's on second. They kind of played off that. There was a couple different things there that I thought were interesting. I can't believe Luke. Okay, we can start Luke too. So we might as well. So I can't believe my boy Lou got cheated on. Like, I was so, I was like, bro, Nicole cheated on this man? Like, my my dude's done dirty this entire season. He sees a girl of his dreams dating random dudes, and then he gets, he's like, I'm going to get married, and meets the wrong girl, and he gets cheated on. Like, Luke Danes. I don't know what's going on with this man, but. He's such I, a good guy. That's why. I broke my heart. I'm like, I can't imagine finding I was socks. like, bro, Luke's a good guy. Why are you. He's such a good guy. So, anyways, what are you guys' thoughts? So, I was finally like, I learned when Luke asked her out, quote unquote, kind of, I was like, bro, be more affirmative, but it's just Luke. But I was finally like, I'm so ready to see them finally be together. Like, the, the way they kissed at the last time, I was like, finally, like, I am so on board with Luke and Lorelai. Like, they are perfect. Michelle's face says that something's going to happen. Um, but no, um, if I can be totally honest, I did not recap myself on anything. So I, I'm, I feel like I'm getting refilled in and I'm like, I forgot all of this. Stuff. That's funny. Um, <laughs> hopefully you watch the next season. <laughs> but, um, uh, it's that, been a long so, time, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but yeah, so that, yeah, Luke and Lorelai, like, I was like, I was like, finally. And then when Lorelai starts to, I thought it was hilarious when Lorelai starts to realize that Luke's, like, into her, and she's, yeah. like, stumbling all over herself. I was like, yeah, oh, that was was, like, funny. getting the door, she gets the flower, she's all like, I'm like, yeah. let's go, like, Luke, like, finally, my boy, like, thoughts, guys, yeah. like, I'll, we'll wrap up with that, uh, final thoughts. I thought it was so cute. Like, it was such, like, an innocent way to yeah. finally, like, join the Luke and Lorelai train. Like, we all know that from the start, it was Luke and Lorelai. Like, they were perfect for each other. But the fact yeah. she was just so clueless and had no idea. And then when she, <laughs> oh, my, and then she starts acting like a girl, you know, like, all like, yeah. I thought that was so freaking yeah. cute. Like, that warms my heart. I love yeah. those feelings, you know? Big feelings. I love that for her, too. <clears throat> Anything else? Anybody else? I think I'm at a point now that I think originally at the beginning, I was like, oh, I don't want Luke and Lorelai to be, be together. Um, and I think a lot of it's just because I feel like Lorelai is very childish and I don't want her him her to hurt him because I like Luke and now I'm kind of at a point that I would agree they are both childish <laughs> and it just is what it is and so I'm down for it as long as you know Jason doesn't exist I'm okay <laughs> yeah Luke is Luke is super child like like it's it just I was watching the season and I was but like, it's not 
I'm like, this dude is this dude is just as childish as Lorelai is. And it's it's hilarious it's a, to me. You know, it's a cute type of childishness. <laughs> Not like a it's cute. It's like, oh you look at you. <laughs> so cute. So there are there are three seasons left, so I'm sure there's gonna be some drama. I hope that they make it to the end because no guy has made it to the end of Lorelai's pressed. life. So we'll see what happens. But this reminds me, if you guys, there's a show, I mean, I don't know if you've seen it, Bones, but it reminds me of, of the main character and her love relationship. It took like four seasons for them to get together Forever. as well. And yeah. then they finally got together and I was like, thank you, finally. And then they worked out, which is fantastic. And I'm hoping that this is the same. I know it's probably not going to be. I'm sure there's going to be some drama, but I'm uh, I'm interested to see. So Appreciate you guys. Any last thoughts, comments before we wrap up? No, because then you're going to assume that it's like foreshadowing and it's just really my feelings. Yeah. Let's so go, go, go and say it. Go ahead and say it. I won't say anything. I really hope that Christopher doesn't come back because I feel like that's still in the back of, I don't know, maybe it's not, but I feel like it's still kind of in the back of Lorelai's mind. Maybe not necessarily captured in this season. Somebody turn but... off Amanda's camera. Turn off Amanda's camera right now. <laughs> I, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, not. I'm not even paying attention. What is happening? <laughs> turn off Amanda's camera because her face says everything. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> I'm just going to stop talking. No, but... I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I hope that he doesn't come back because I... I do really like that Lorelai and Luke are, you know, a thing. I think it's kind of perfect, you know, with he's never leaving the the small little town, right? I mean, that's the assumption. And then I doubt that she is either. I'm curious to see what it's going to look like, like them dating and, you know, are, is, is he going to move in and how does that work, right? But anyways, I hope that he doesn't come back only because I don't want I don't want him to ruin what they've started, you know? I agree. That's why I thought they would get together later in the seasons, because now it's like something has to happen. Like, like that's something has to happen. So whether oh, yeah. it's, I guess it's they true. work out or not, I feel like they're going to break up at least. My prediction, they break up at least one time. Not my prediction. Um, and maybe get back together, but we'll see. So, anybody else? Last comments, final comments? Amanda's trying to leave. <laughs> it's what her face looks like. <laughs> She's well, like, appreciate you guys. Appreciate everybody joining. Appreciate everybody watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in to another season of the Gilmore Girls Coffee and Friends podcast. Catch you in season five. <laughs> Bye.